Warthog here. What's up guys, it's Julie Warthog here, and today I have my predictions for the winter upgrades. Now as you can see I've made a concept squad with all the players that I think will be in there. Now my first player I have up is David De Gea. He's been influential, to say the least, for Manchester United, saving them time and time again. He's already picked himself up two informs, could have possibly had a third, but that doesn't matter. He is the best keeper in the league at the moment, if not one of the best in the world. And there is no doubt in my mind that he's going to get an upgrade. You can tell that by the price of his inform already going absolutely ballistic, going up from 120k to, yeah. Next is Nathaniel Klein. Uh, if he does get upgraded, though, he will be a goal, so he won't be that great. But he has had a fantastic season for Southampton so far. And there's been quite a lot of talk about big moves somewhere. Next is Fontenay. Now, when Lovren left Southampton, there's lots of talk saying the defence wouldn't be as strong and they didn't have a leader, but Fontenay stood up. He's led the way with the outer wed, and he, yeah, they bore the results early on. He would become a cheap gold, though. Next is Gary Cahill. Now, him and John Terry could probably get an upgrade, but I think Cahill is more likely go from 81 to about 83. He has had a fantastic season. Chelsea's defence has been outrageous, except for that one little blimp against Spurs the other week. Uh, James Milner is the next player. Now, this might be a surprise to some people, as he's quite underrated in a lot of respects, as he is a very hard worker. But he has picked up a few very vital goals for City recently and been one of their key players when Aguero and David Silva have been out injured. Next is Wayne Rooney, captain fantastic, awesome for England and for Manchester United. Doesn't matter where, whether he's playing up front or in a low line role in the central midfield, he is always a goal threat and always a key player. Next is Cesc Fabregas, he's come to the Premier League and he's flying. He's already picked himself 13 assists up for Chelsea so far. And to be honest, I was surprised he was only 84 rate right to start of the game. But now I can see him going up to an 86. Which will be fantastic and be a brilliant card. Now the next player is another Southampton player. Tadic has had a great start to the season after coming in. He's picked himself up one in form, which moved him from a cam to a left wing. But I can see where that form has been fantastic so far. He's got picked up a lot of assists and was a, a key part early on in the season. Even though there's a long way for Southampton to go and their form hasn't been great recently, I think he's still done enough. Alexis Sanchez is next up and he's been the heart and soul of Arsenal. Been getting goals, getting assists, anything good that Arsenal's done, he's been the key part of it. Works his ass off, and I could see him going up to an 86, maybe even an 87. We'll see how it goes, and he'll be extremely expensive, being the best right wing in the Premier League. As you can see, he's already got 88 pace, so they could easily go 90, and his inform will be outrageous. Next up, Aguero. Aguero's been out injured, but he has been in blistering form when he has played, and I can't see a reason why he wouldn't get an upgrade so practically his in form 87 normal card 86 which is very harsh to start with he probably showed an 87 or an 88 at the start of the game but he was not so he will go or oh, have three stats above 90 when he gets upgraded next is Harry Kane 71 rated at the moment easily go to 74 rating and he's also got an up an inform which would stay at a 75 I suggest or it's very unlikely that he actually becomes a goal player. Next is on to the, my bench players and we have Wilfred Boney here. So from him and Sigurdsson, one of those two from Swansea should begin an upgrade as both of them have had fantastic starts this season and anything Swansea's been doing well, Boney's either been picking up the goal or Sigurdsson's been getting the goal or the assist. Sigurdsson's got one in form already, but it'd be great to see him get an upgrade because he'd be a fantastic card, even though he does lack a bit of pace. Danny Ings and Vardy, recently promoted from the Championship, have been awesome, causing defences a lot of problems, and if they get upgraded, they'd probably both be 74. 
I think, and would go for a heap of coins since they both have plus 86 pace and good shot for silver cards. Now, West Ham have been surprisingly good so far, and only any of Valencia and also Scott Downey have been two of the key players in this transformation. I can definitely see Downing getting an upgrade as EA will like to have mid-rated players such as down at 77 go up to a 79, potentially even 80. Valencia, unfortunately, if he does get upgraded, will become a gold and will just be one of those cheap discard golds. But I can see him being used quite a lot in those sweaty teams that people love to make from the BPL. Uh, Balassi is next up. is fantastic for Crystal Palace. I'd love to see him get an upgrade. He would become a goal, so he'd be, you know, a relatively cheap goal once his price settles a bit. Hopefully, he does get an upgrade to four star skills, as he does pull off quite a lot of skills in real life. And EA gave him three stars to start with, but a four star skill, a four star weight for foot would be fantastic and a cheap alternative to Hazard. Next player up is Charlie Austin. Now, he would also become a gold and a really average rubbish gold that probably go for next to nothing. But he has been a key player for QPR, banging on the goals. For a team that was bottom of the table, looked like relegation was going to be their way. They've really turned in their season around. And as long as they can keep Austin in this transfer window, and he can keep scoring. And possibly if they can pick up a partner, it'd be awesome. Next is Al Mack. He's come out of nowhere for Newcastle. He's been playing really well. Make a fantastic save in the FA Cup just the other day from a crosswood shot. And I don't see why a reason why he wouldn't be upgraded to at least like 66 and give him that silver card up from a bronze which he currently holds. Next up, Michael Mason. He's been playing like every game for Spurs. Only 64 rated bronze at the moment. And he's been playing really well so I'd like to see him go up. I think 71, 72 would probably be about right for now because I don't see them giving, putting him up 10 ratings for an upgrade. And then these are my two kind of out of the basket picks. First is Michael Carrot. Since he's come back from injury, Manchester United have been a newborn team. Either playing centre mid or centre back. He's been spreading the ball wide and controlling the tempo of the play fantastically well, which led to them winning seven on the trot early part of him coming back. So if he got an upgrade, he would be probably go at 81. Wouldn't be worth much. Still would be a really good card at centre back, even though he lacks that pace. But he has a good defending stat and good passing, which would be fantastic for playing out the back if that's your style. The other one, this is the biggest risk of all, is David Silva. Now, Aguero or David Silva will get an upgrade, I think, but not both, because of the way AO work it. But 89 rated in form at the moment Silva's got, that would be going up to a 91. So it has been fantastic for City since coming back from his injuries early on. But I don't think it will happen because it will be just so ridiculous. But then EA love their money and you don't, never know what will happen with them. Uh, if you enjoyed this guys, thank you for watching to this point And leave a like if you think I've missed something in the Premier League that does deserve an upgrade. Please leave a comment down below and... Yeah, until next time guys, have a good day and peace out. This has been your boy Deadly Warthog.